Hello and welcome back to Boring Dad Gaming, where today we're going to be playing some more Mondili. Uh, we are in, I think it's Rufus's house? We've just done a sort of weird maze thing, but sort of helped him out and stuff, so that's cool. Um, I think we've done this already. Yeah, nothing there. Uh, but we're going to leave. Uh, wasn't there an easier way to leave? I can't remember. Oh, okay, we can go to the labyrinth if we want. Well, we're going to exit to the street. We've done the labyrinth now. Um, and yeah, we're just gonna kind of explore a little more for the time being, I think. Who we can talk to. We still not get up here? Ah. Okay, can't get up there. to get in the forest district now though so let's uh let's try we haven't been in here before let's go take a look there's another one of these plush corsets for some reason i don't know quite what purpose they serve but we'll pick them up when we see them now these are the guys who were kind of guarding the way into the forest before Ooh. gifts of nature carrots Tomatoes? And potatoes? Yes. Welcome to Gifts of Nature. Uh, um, can I help you? Um. How do I make money? Well, that's a weird question. Um, I think we still have a program for buying harvested mushrooms. They grow in the forest of dreamers. Wood. I, I don't like that name. Just a thick forest, you know, like the regular one. If you want to do it, I can give you a brochure on local mushrooms. Oh, why a brochure? Well, there's some very alike mushrooms out there and you've got to know how to pick the right ones, or you'll have to pay us over the top for the service. You're up for gathering? Don't worry, you don't have to pay for the brochure. Yeah, sure. Here's your brochure, don't, don't lose it. I'm obligated to give a briefing on the gathering. It's going to be a lot of words. Ready? Alright. Here you go. Be sure to wear wreaths made of glowing leaf petals before visiting the forest thicket. If you feel nausea, headache, auditory and or visual hallucinations, return to the light immediately. When gathering in the forest thicket, carefully inspect your harvests and use the encyclopedia of doppelgangers. The brochure I gave you has an excerpt from this encyclopedia. That's basically all that was worth mentioning. When you collect the mushrooms, check if you collected the right ones, throw away the bad ones and come back here to turn them in. If there's a mistake, you get half deducted from the next time as a penalty. If you don't want to bother, you can add everything in as is and we'll deduct one coin for every two mushrooms. If you're really bad at it, you might not get anything at all. Yeah, it's a lot of information. You've probably forgotten it all by now. I'm, I'm going to briefly repeat all this every time you turn in the mushrooms so you won't get bored. Alright, uh, let's change the subject. Oh yeah, let's cut out the crap. <laughs> Why is there only one tent? Well, the other one was purchased by some two girls. That's it. No more customer information. Uh, do I have eight coins? Uh, we might as well set it up in the forest. That'll be eight coins. Here you go. No way! Did you just pay like an actual good customer? Oh, thank you! Here's your tent, buddy. Taking the mushroom guide. Now you can check mushrooms before selling them. Okay, well, we'll have a... Look at that. A poster advertising the forest district and its farming. Alright. What are these guys? Hey bro, what's up? Uh, tell me about the forest district. Uh, as we were taught, well, the forest district isn't official, it's just part of the United District with less dense development. The suburb, Sado. We grow most of our food here in this nice place. Yeah, I love running through our forests and fields. You don't get that in the city. You got that right, bro. Alright. Fine. They are watching me. <laughs> Hello? Mother told us to stay away from people from the water district. I'm not from there, it's just the clothes. Mum told us to stay away from the clothes of that neighbourhood just as well. Fashionlessness. Barbarism. Don't take it personally though. Oh, I'll try not to. Uh, okay, so I can't get in there. This is the posh part of town. 
Equipment provided by the Upper District. Let's fly to a brighter future together. Long-term equipment support is not part of the sponsorship program. Okay. Hello? Hey, city boy. Do my clothes give me away? Nah. All of it in my face, too. What are you looking at, anyway? I ain't telling you nothing. Okay. Friendly. Outside the gate, you can see a long street going deep into the woods. On either side of it, a house is shrouded in vegetation. Okay. You could definitely jump over this rock, but some otherworldly force prevents you from doing so. The stone will continue to guard the depths of this location. Okay, I'm getting a sense that some things are temporarily locked off. Uh, so where is my... I'm trying to remember where my inventory is now. I better look up the controls. Inventory is Q. Okay. So, what have we got here? Okay. It's my tent. Where's the encyclopedia thing we got there? Have I got 14 coins? How did I get that many? Okay, well, I can't read it beforehand. Soundtrack. The big X here. You can put a tent here. Uh, sure. I won't save just yet, but... Who are these guys? Oh, they're probably the ones that bought the other tent. Hi! It's a beautiful day for a picnic! For a picnic in private, Shelley. Could you leave us alone, please? Oh. Not very neighbourly. What's this? Item bottle. Oh, it's another Scarlet Blast thing. What does that actually do? I, I've got a few now. I could probably drink them. Let's see what they do. Uh, I've no idea what that did. <laughs> Totem. In honour of some deity, I guess. Definitely not in honour of a real person. There's no one with four arms around here. That we've seen yet. Good sit, but there's a... Another plush corsic there. I've been watching the lodge across the lake for months now, but nothing's happened there. There isn't even a road there. Wait, are you eavesdropping on me? Oh, I'm not allowed to do so? Yeah, I don't know. I don't care. Okay. Yeah, another blockage. So we go this way. Okay. Hey, kid, don't forget, don't go into the woods without a wreath. Uh, yeah, that was mentioned. What's with the reeds, anyway? Reeds are made out of glow leaf petals. In case you're completely ignorant, son, glowing leaf is the giant tree, and all the little ones that we use as lamps. You should always wear such a wreath before going into the deep woods. Always. I'm listening. What's in the forest? Those who go there without a wreath are always left unconscious somewhere among the trees. I don't know what happens in there, and I don't want to know. Demons of some kind, or spirits of the forest, God knows. Alright. Yes. Uh, so do I actually need to wear it? Equip. There we go. Old E to return, okay. Haven't seen any mushrooms yet. Am I supposed to be like expecting these things or Ah, there's a mushroom. The red mushrooms. Green. Blue. Oh, 
on. Is there one hiding back there? It's just infinite, I wonder. Pockets may be big, but they're not that big. I'm out of room. Maybe there's something I can get rid of. Maybe. Okay. Um. Can't drop all my precious wood. What is this thing? Oh yeah, the demon thing. Uh, that's okay. We well, if we're full up, we can just head back. Wreath off. So, can we what, use this now? Oh, okay, okay, we might have to do this one by one. Check mushroom guide, okay. So, the sort of sharp, pointy ones are no good. I think the little cur curvy one's all right. Spiral stalk and less broad cap. Well, those are probably all bad ones, aren't they? Uh, more elongated and sagging sporangium. It looks a bit like the wrong one. This one, I think this one might be okay. I think they're all okay, not that one though. And the yellow one, bad one, is distinguished by its pentagonal star-like shape. I don't think that's particularly star-shaped, is it? So I think these ones are okay. I guess we could take them back to the shop and see. Where it is now. Okay, so I haven't gone that way yet. Let's go back to the shop first, which is just over here, isn't it? And then we'll go down there. Uh, I want to sell mushrooms. You're handing the goods yourself? Or would the store rather check to see if you've collected any poison? If you do everything yourself and you make a mistake, you'll get half as much next time. Uh, check it out. Checking. So, well, 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 you get 15 coins. Deducted for an inspection, four coins. So we did well, and they just took off money uh, just for checking it. Cool. How much money do I have now? 29 coins. That seems like a lot. Who's this? Doesn't, doesn't say who this statue is dedicated to. Probably some kind of deity. I've never met anyone with four arms and a head like that. Kind of strange. Is <laughs> a dead end. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. All right. Um, not quite sure what I have to do now. 
It's been an, it's been about a week since I played, so I'm I can't quite recall what my little tasks were. Like a little journal or something would be useful. I just don't think I just don't think there is one. I can hold Q for hints. Frogger, buy ingredients. Yeah, I can't remember which ingredient she wanted though. Is it from here? Oh, hello. It's definitely a cupboard. And a rolled up rug. Okay, good. Well, I'll take the soundtrack. Welcome to my store. What can I do for you? I need to buy some ingredients. All right, what do you need exactly? Well, here's the list. Yeah, tell me, you came from Frogger? Yes. All right, then I understand why I don't understand anything here. She doesn't know how to write or something. Fortunately, I remember her order by heart. Almost everything in there is illegal. Did he just say illegal? Don't worry, it doesn't matter to me what it's for. I'm just selling it. Here you go. 14 coins from you. Okay, well, I've got that, I suppose. Uh, great, so I've got her stuff. We'll go back, back to the water district now, then. It's all dark and gloomy here. Uh, so, is the shortcut open now? Yeah. Okay, so we'll have to take the long way around. Don't mind me. I bought ev oh, that's not his voice. I bought everything. Oh, you're such a good boy. I'll start cooking. It's gonna take a while. Brugger stepped back to her apparatus and began conjuring the potion. Michael, meanwhile, decided to sit down, waiting for the process to be completed. The vials rattled, the vapors hissed, and the liquids boiled. It all looked mesmerizing and very peaceful. The atmosphere of the place was very sleepy, and our hero gradually fell asleep. Hey, Mikey. I'm done with the cooking. You can take this little vial to the princess. Uh, which one? Uh, right here on the table. Just don't break it or I'll have to do it all over again. And I don't want to do that. At least not for free. Come on, let's go. It's been a while already. She's probably waiting if she's not dead, huh? Okay. Oh, I can't go up there. What's this poster? Poster of a guy with horns standing in front of a storm. What's this? Ventilation here. Clearly not working. I feel kind of weird. All kinds of stuff for potions. Probably. Maybe not. Uh, do I take this? Does she mean... Oh, she probably means this thing. Okay. Alright then. Let's go. Back to the palace. You might be standing there a while. Uh, is it this way? No, that's their kitchen. Yeah, like if they could unlock a fast travel or something at some point, that would be good, I think. Well, the world's not huge, huge, but if you have to keep sort of running back and forth the whole time, it starts to lose its appeal, I think. Who's that? Where did you get here? What about you? I always try to be in the middle of everything. Write everything down, document everything. No one else is going to do it. 
What are you doing here? Hi, the male version of Dairy. I'm Michael. I'm just kidding. Dairy's actually kind of cool. I just stopped by to check in, but I ended up staying late. Yeah, I'm probably going to be here for a while too. So, oh, we have to go to a room, don't we? Which is... is it top left? Oh, well, this is her room. Why is she, why is she not here? Oh. Uh... Alright, put the vial down. Riley, I brought your order. I'll, I'll leave it on the shelf. What the hell are you doing? Oh, she was Irish, wasn't she? What the hell are you doing here? I brought you your potion. God, you've been gone so long and you decide to come back now. And get out of my bathroom. I'll be right over to give you your damn gift. Uh, okay. I'll wait here. I hope it won't take, uh... Oh, you're already here. First of all, you will never enter my bathroom again without my permission. Second of all, here, take your stupid present. It's a set of royal clothes. That's it. Get out of my room. Ah, uh, Get out of my room! Okay. Oh, Michael, did Riley give you my present? Clothes? Yes! She did. Why don't you try them on? Let's go to your room. Why did you give me clothes? I just wanted to. Uh, you could use them here. Besides, your closet's all empty, so I figured it'd be nice to add something into it. <laughs> yeah, I hardly ever make any changes to my closet contents. By the way, I could change your hair in my room if you want. I think we've already done that. I'll think about it. Well, here's your room. Come on in. Alright, just wants to go to bed. We can change our clothes first, though. It's a nice room you've got here, isn't it? It's so clean. Mine's a mess. Alright, um, will you try those clothes? You can put the old ones in the closet for now. Alright. Royal clothes. Oh, it was beautiful, Michael. It looks so good on you. You like it? Uh, yes. Yay, I'm glad. I sewed it for you myself, just the right size. I was afraid you wouldn't like it. Well, I, uh, I should probably go. You should get some sleep, that's all. Yes. Okay, bye. A strange creature. Right, let's, uh, turn the light off. I guess we'll go to bed. Chapter 3, Searching for Tori. Okay. What's our thing? I must find something to occupy myself with. I can look around the castle. Everyone should be occupied with something. Okay. We could water our plant. Um, this place is locked. Can't water that for her. Clippings from clippings from newspapers, books, and all sorts of schemes. The centerpiece is a picture of some deer guy. Mm. Poor little flower. How could Riley possibly forget to water it? It's right under her nose. Yeah, we can't water it. They've gone. Uh, Princess, Co Princess Corsic, could you put all the books away when you're... Oh, Princess Corsic, could you put all the books away when you're done? I've so much work to do. Aggressive silence. Oh, I hear you, I'm sorry. Uh, what are they doing? Not a single mention here either. How could it be? The Royal Guard searched for him and found nothing. I am sick of these books. 
Oh, you're awake at last. Sorry about the mess, I've been doing some important work. I'm trying to find someone who's been missing for years. Well, to be more specific, I just wanted to personally reactivate the search. There's not a word in the palace logs at all. I don't know where to start. Riley, wait! Have you tried asking anyone in the castle? <laughs> not the king, of course, but the others? Ah, uh, Corsic, be quiet. That was my idea. I'll clean up later. In the meantime, let's go and ask around. Are you with me, Michael? Uh... Maybe? To ask people at the castle about Tori! Right. Uh, okay. So this is Hass's room, isn't it? Yeah, well he's not here. You in the library? No. Hey, where are you going? I'm not going to chase you around the castle. Guess we're not allowed to run. What about you? Hey! Hey, hey, Charlie, the secretary! Yes, Princess Riley? You remember Tori? I do. You know anything about him? Where is he? How is he? Uh, no, not a shred of information. I've been keeping track. No luck. Okay, moving on. Well, time for me to get back to the office. As for the books... Oh, no, he was, um... He was like, oh, as for the books, I'll sort it out later. I forgot he was the secretary. He was out of context. But there was... Was Hass hanging out in here? Oh, no, it's the guard. Please don't distract a guard from her duty. Do you know anything about Tori? I beg your pardon? Tori. T-O-R-I. The guy who used to work at the castle. Do you know anything about him? Ah, oh, I, uh... He's, uh... Missing. I don't know nothing else. I haven't seen or heard from him since. Okay, thank you anyway. You look sad. He was my boyfriend before he ran away. That's why I'm stuttering. I've been trying to find him myself, but to no avail. Oh, my darling, I'm sorry. We're looking for him too. Yes? Well, if you happen to find him, could you give him my regards? And tell him I'm still in love and waiting for him. Oh, of course, darling, we will. Well, thank you, and good luck. Find him, please. We will. Okay, can't go in there. Oh, that's the key now you have, Michael. I didn't even notice. When we find that dear, we'll be sure to tell him what she said. Wait, I didn't even know her name. Hey, what's your name? Yana. Wonderful, we'll remember it. Let's go ask some more people. Uh, well, that's just my room and her bedroom up there, so let's go this way. Oh, that's Corsic's room, but there might be something this way. Hey, where are you going? Oh, no, no, blah, 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 blah. Oh, this is, this is Corsic's room. Uh, well, we don't need to ask Corsic about stuff, but what's in here? That's the cafeteria, isn't it? Yes? Evelyn, just a second. Can I help you? You girls have anything new on Tori? I think the singer Jessica mentioned Tori. Remember Evelyn? <laughs> oh, that's right. She just wouldn't stop talking about him at the cafe. Tori this, Tori that. Ah, oh, we better discuss things like this in my room. Michael, are we sure we've talked to everyone? It doesn't really matter. If you think it's okay to wrap it up, then get the girls in our room. Well, what about these guys? Hey, do you know anything about Tori? First time I've heard of him. He used to deliver my weekly magazine. And that's it. And then he stopped. Did something happen to him? Pointless. Hello? I don't remember your name. Uh, Margaret. Ah, oh, that's right. Can I get you some tea? No, thank you. I'm here on a different matter. Have you heard anything new about Tori? Oh, no. Uh, poor thing. He's been out there for three years. I don't know where he is, like everybody else. Are you looking for him? You're a mind reader. Oh, good luck finding him. Well, let's move on. All right, let's talk to. Let's take these girls to the room then. Princess, are we going to your place to discuss Tori? Yep, we're ready. So we're talking about Tori, who worked with us at the castle, right? Uh, I never knew, until this day, still don't know any other Tories. I bet the fox was talking about him. She's not a fox, she's Jessica. Show some respect. Okay, so we're talking about the same person. There's already been a mix-up once. Michael, have you heard of Tori? Don't think so. Tori used to work at the castle as a messenger. After the Queen died, he ran away and no one could find him. Now that I'm grounded, I thought I'd try to dig up something new again. Has Jessica seen Tori in person? 
Does she know where he is? She's definitely seen him, but she does she know his whereabouts? No idea. Jessica might be able to give us some clues. Right, Riley, you need to talk to Jessica in person. She's about to perform at the Upper District. You need to meet her before the show. Well, uh, maybe I'll try to get myself paroled from being grounded so I can visit a performance. And you, Michael. Right, you go and sign us up for that performance at the Upper District. Us? Oh, what's wrong? They'll sign you up all right, but the entrance is for girls only, silly. Then why don't we give Michael a different name and a disguise? Look at his pretty face. I'm sure they won't even tell the difference. Sounds like an idea. Hey, wait a minute. Michael, has showed you around the city, didn't he? At the plaza. Go up to the upper district. That's where you'll find the city stage and then sign us up. Hey, if you need anything, you can ask me. I'll stay here. We're going back to the hall. Glad we could help you, princess. Thank you, girls. Uh... Remind me what I need to do. Sign us up for a show at the uh, sign us up for a show at the upper district. We'll get in, need to get information about Tori. The place is called, I think, the main city stage. That's where you need to sign us up. Okay, so I'm guessing that's where the the two guards were blocking it off before. Michael, one more thing. I'm sure you'll need that headband to get into the upper district. There's a dress code for everyone there now. Oh, golden headband. Okay. You also have to have a tidy haircut and nice clothes to get in. Just a tip, so you don't waste your time. Of course they gave you the clothes. You can probably get your hair done by him too. You'll be able to make miracles with it. Uh, okay, well, we'll go back to Corsic's room. I think my hair might have grown back, so maybe we need to go and get it cut again. How many Corsics are there? Oh, hello, Michael. Can you do my hair? I can, of course. Next time you can approach the comb on my desk. I'll know right away you need a haircut. Now let's do your hair. What hairstyle are we doing? Uh... Well, this one called Upper Grace. That that might be a clue that we need to get use it in the upper district. So let's do let's do that. You like it? If not, I can change it. Uh, no, that's fine. I'll have this one. Yeah, need to hair now, okay. Oh, what a sight. Hi there. Uh, hi, what are you doing here? I have to go to the castle on a regular basis and check in. That way I don't get into more trouble. And I'm gonna go see Riley too. We are besties with her. And we're just buddies with you. There was something else I wanted to tell you, but I totally forgot. Well, never mind then. And I'm off. See you later, babe. Uh, that was strange. Do do do. Okay, so it's up here, isn't it? Can we get past now? Ah, we can. Upper district. This is where the furniture shop is, isn't it? If you want to go upstairs, go talk to him. Uh, with who? What do you mean? There's a guy in a jacket by the second staircase. Goose. What's that ring in your beak? Aye, come on, a ring? It's a piercing. That's what everybody wears these days, man. You ain't from around here. You don't know. You got a country boy face. And it's a cool face, yeah? You got a different colored eyes, too. All right. It's not a country boy face after all. All right. Hold it right there. If you want to go upstairs, you'll have to go through our clothing evaluation first. Okay, royal gold headband. Royal red vest. Royal silk shirt with puffy sleeves. And royal pants. Wider at the bottom. 
royal shoes with guilt on the sole. Uh, hmm, well, that'll do. Yeah, it'll do. Anything that you don't like? Do yourself have a cheap jacket and accessories from a flea market. Ooh, show them the real stuff. Oh, wait here, I'll show you. <laughs> All right, you two in the cheap jackets, get out of my way. I don't want to see you here ever again. You're disturbing people and looking like bums, too. <laughs> And where are you from, sir? I can tell by your face alone that this is your first time here. Nevertheless, you're so well-dressed. I admire those who want an actual style. It's such a pity that the appearance restriction will be lifted after the performance. Uh, Rasali, sir, with all due respect, we have to go. Ah, I was dreaming again. Well, farewell, my good man. Have a good stay in the upper district. Okay. Another bottle of that. What are you looking at? Go about your business. There are serious matters at stake here. Welcome to the Gifts of Nature branch store. Can I help you? Uh, a branch? Yeah, a branch. The main store operates in the forest district, and this is just a branch. People here don't really like to come down to get their groceries, so we bring the groceries up here, making life easier for the residents. We have a special elevator set up for that. Fascinating thing. Okay, come again. Okay. Tourists are not allowed in during the show. Sky Castle thing. Over here, hotel. Hmm. Go in there. What's going on here? Hello! Welcome to the hotel of the Upper District. Can I get a room? I'm very sorry, but all the rooms are currently occupied. We're even pre-booked for the future. The Castle Ambassador's room is the only one available at the moment. It's on your right. Uh, I'm the Ambassador from the Castle. Get me a room. Certainly. Please let me have the letter of commendation signed by the Royal Secretary. Uh, I forgot it at home. I'll have it later. Very well. Please bring it to me next time. Oh, hang on. Uh. Goodbye. Come again. Touch the grass? Yes. You touch the soft grass, growing within the decorative stand. It filled you with joy and tranquility. Your walking speed is briefly increased. Whee! Is it? Tourists are not allowed in during the show. Yeah, well, I guess we go up. Okay. Ah, Grand, grand Town Stage, that was. So all these things the guards are standing at, we can't go in. Well, there's where we need to go, I think. What's over here? Oh, the furniture store. Okay, that we can maybe buy something for our room. There's that harpist again. Hello, dear. Uh, there's no sign outside. What is this place? In common speech, this would be called a pawn shop, but I can't just call this wonderful place that. I am buying various antiques and artifacts which I sell to connoisseurs. <laughs> and we are talking about fairly hefty amounts of money. Yes, I'm listening. Uh, and who are you? Me? I'm just a humble hummingbird. I've been running this fine store for several years now, although it took me a while to come up with the idea. It's very popular with collectors. Okay. Golden apple, gilded artificial paint. Stone sculpture, cubes. Statue of a planet with a ring. Original canvas with the old crest of the upper district. Crystal in the form of a hand reaching upwards. That's empty. Relic found on the beach of the water district. It's a traffic cone. 
Well, yes, this bus is worth 60 coins. If you can afford it, it's yours, of course. Oh, I don't have it yet. Oh, well. I look forward to the moment you have enough savings. That might be to solve a puzzle. But we know where we can get money. And the forest. Plush corset. How much money do I have? I've got about 15, haven't I? I just want to see my... Oh, yeah. Uh, 15, yeah. Got the catalog. You can now unlock new styles for your room in the castle for money. Welcome to our furniture booty. What can I do for you? I don't know. What can what can you really do for me? Hmm. You look like a diligent citizen. I'm sure you have your own place. You can pick up our catalog and all the furniture sets and styles for your home. Such eye candy. Not for free though. All right. Right. Well, let's go and register for this show thing. Oh, Michael, hi. Rufus, don't interfere. Welcome to the main city stage. If you would like to sign up or sign someone else up for a performance, please wait for your turn. In the meantime, please have a seat. Have a seat here, Michael. What are you doing here? Is Riley giving you a hard time again? Oh, that's right. She asked me to sign us in. You? You and Riley? It's just for girls. Do you already have an alias? Why do you need an alias? Well, your female disguise could not be called Michael, right? You need something like, um... Michelle? Oh, well, that's a good idea. All my ideas are good, like this one. Uh, is that a pen? Rufus! Excuse me, please. Oh, that's okay. You have a funny brother. Yes, sure he is. I think I'm done. I, I may go now. Um, yes, thank you. Have a good day. So you can come when you're done with my brother. Are you coming, or shall we chat a bit? Uh, I'm gonna go. Good afternoon. The clothes you're wearing. Aren't you from the castle by any chance? Uh, yes, I am. I have to sign up the princess and her friend. Oh, the princess herself. All right, Princess Riley, I got it. And the friend? Uh, Michelle Stevens. Great, we'll be expecting them. I'm sorry, of course, that you can't get in there for yourself. Is the performer's decision... Jessica. Here, these are their passes. Tell them not to lose them under any circumstances. Will that be all? Uh, yes, thank you. No, thank you. I'll be very happy to see the princess here. Have a good day. I'll get in, obviously. See ya, Hass. Oh, I'm so sorry. Michael, what are you doing here? And you're all dressed up. Riley asked me to do a thing for her. Again. I registered us for an upcoming show. Riley's searching for someone. I can guess who's that. Registering went smoothly, right? I could help. Yeah, it's alright. I've got the tickets. Oh, good. Actually, I have some business to attend to, Michael. Good to see you. And yes, after the show, the clothing restrictions will be lifted. You won't have to follow some kind of dress code anymore. Okay. And I think that's probably a good place to leave it for now. So when we come back, we'll go and try to get into the concert or whatever. We're obviously looking for this uh, missing guard. Hopefully we'll make a bit of progress in finding them. Um, but I'll just say thanks very much for watching this episode of Mondili. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, if you could hit the thumbs up button on the video, that'd be great. As would leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about the game, uh, the story so far. Um, yeah, there's, there's a little bit of, of mystery here, isn't there? Isn't there? So I'm, I'm sure that'll, that'll continue to build as well. Um, and if you're watching this and haven't already subscribed to the channel, it'd be great if you could do so. So thanks very much once again, and I hope to see you next time for more Mondili. Bye for now.